Good day everyone. My name is Graphics. Let's take another example on factorial. We have this that says n factorial is equal to 12 into bracket n minus 2 factorial. Now what you have to do here is to what color like terms by that means you will be dividing both sides by what n minus 2 factorial because this n factorial is equal to 12 into bracket n minus factorial it is the same thing as saying n factorial equals to 12 multiplied by n minus 2 factorial so if I divide both sides by n minus 2 factorial I'll be having n factorial all over n minus 2 factorial equals to what 12 into bracket n minus 2 factorial all over n minus 2 factorial now this my n minus 2 factorial will cancel my n minus 2 factorial i'll be left with n factorial all over n minus 2 into bracket factorial equals to what 12. now recall we know that my n factorial is equals to what n into bracket n minus 1 n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4 till infinity factorial, right? So I'll do this. Since my n minus 2 factorial can be found in my n factorial, just like within a previous example, where we have uh, 5 factorial all over 3 factorial. And we say we move 5 to what? To 3 factorial. And we stop at 3 factorial. Where 3, we cancel 3. Are we together? Now, we'll do the same thing here. We'll be saying, my n factorial, we move to what? We have n into bracket, n minus 1, into bracket, n minus 2. I'll stop there, factorial, because my numerator is stopping at what? n minus 2 factorial. Out together equals to what 12. So my n factorial n minus 2 factorial will cancel my n minus 2 factorial. Now I will not be left with what my n into bracket n minus 1, which is equals to what 12. Out together. Now this is 12. You ask yourself since we're having two values of n, we're having two values of n, which is 1 and 2. So ask yourself. What are the factors of 12? The factors of 12, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, then 12. Am I correct? Now, if you multiply, you look for any two values that are very close and 1 is the difference between both of them that when you multiply them you'll be having 12 now if you multiply 1 and 2 it cannot give you 12 if you multiply 3 and 4 to give you 12 and the value between 3 and 4 it is what it is 1 i cannot use 2 and 6 because 2 and 6 also if i multiply both i'll be having 12 but the value in between them is not a difference of 1 so i cannot use 6 and 2 so i'm going to be using 4 and 3 because 4 times 3 is 12 but and the value between them is what one that is what qualify my four and three as what i'll use in getting my 12. so then i'll just write my n into bracket n minus one equals to what four times three i told you to always be in a descending order now you by comparing my n is equals to four and my n minus 1 is equal to what 3 n equals to 4 n minus 1 equals to 3 so my n is equals to 4 
or my n is equals to what three plus one because my negative one is coming to the other side i'll be having plus so my n equals to four or my n is equals to what four my answer is what four please you guys subscribe to my page and click like more videos is coming your way thank you very much and also share my videos with your friends and tell them to like